Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Zetelia and today we're going to discuss basic flight. So you made it out of your hab, made it to the port, retrieved your ship, found your hangar, and got in your ship. But now what? The first thing you need to do is start your ship up. There's three different ways you can do this. You can hold the F key, locate the flight ready button and activate it. Activate each component separately or make the ship flight ready using the R key. The next thing you need to do is to have landing service to open the hangar. To do that, activate your Moby Glass by hitting F1. Select the comm link at the bottom. And then select the contacts tab. Contact the landing surfaces by clicking on the diamond with the arrow next to the name. You are clear to launch. It takes a few seconds for the hangar doors to fully open. When you're ready to take off, press the space bar to strafe up. At this point, there's no need to touch the mouse. There are restricted areas around ports, indicated by Thank red you. lines. If you go near these, your autopilot will attempt to steer you away, but most of the time they kill you. You move the nose of the plane up and down by moving the mouse up and down. This is also known as pitch. You move the nose of the plane left and right by moving the mouse left and right. This is also known as yaw. This indicates that your landing gear is down. Press the N key to raise or lower your landing gear. Landing gear retracted. In a second here, I will demonstrate how your autopilot will try to kill you. If you're going slow enough, you probably won't explode. When you're in atmosphere, your altitude, your horizon line, and your pitch ladder will appear. The pitch ladder is the degree your nose is facing in reference to the planet. If you get your pitch to 90 degrees, it'll be the fastest and the most direct way off the planet. You can hold the W key to accelerate out of atmosphere or press the C key to activate cruise control. Now that we're out of atmosphere, let's go over the basic controls. As you already learned, W will accelerate you forward. The S key will accelerate you backwards. The A key will strafe you left. The D key will strafe you right. Spacebar will strafe you up, and left control will strafe you down. The Q key will roll you left, and the E key will roll you right. Some larger ships have what is called VTOL, Vertical Takeoff and Landing. This is the ability to rotate your main thrusters, so you can take off or land vertically. You can toggle this by pressing the J key. This is your throttle. This shows how fast you are traveling. This red mark indicates the end of your space combat maneuvering speed, which we will go over later. This is your thruster power control. This is used for precision movements. You can control this by holding the right alt key and scrolling your wheel mouse. At the top of your throttle gauge is your speed limiter. You can adjust your speed limiter by scrolling the wheel mouse up or down. Notice how the throttle bar turned red? 
that indicates that you are no longer in your space combat maneuver speed. That means it will take longer to conduct flight maneuvers. As long as you stay within the SCM speeds, your ship will maneuver at peak performance. Holding the shift key will activate afterburners. Afterburners will greatly increase your acceleration, but will overheat your engines over time. Pressing the X key is your space brake. The space brake will slow you down faster, but it will also overheat your engines. Next we're going to talk about coupled and decoupled mode. By default your ship starts in coupled mode. Couple mode will make your ship fly more like an airplane. Once you let off the throttle, your ship will engage maneuver thrusters and slow your ship down to a stop. To toggle between coupled and decoupled mode, press the V key. This indicates that you are in decoupled mode. I feel that decoupled mode is more like actual space flight. Once you start traveling that direction, you will not slow down or stop until you engage your thrusters into a different direction. The total velocity indicator, or TVI, shows where the ship is currently heading, even if the front of the ship is pointed elsewhere. The TVI is useful for determining the exact flight path vector of a ship, especially when drifting in between or around objects. The TVI is indicated by a small square with an arrow pointing either up or down. If the arrow is pointing up, this indicates the direction that you are traveling to, and if the arrow is pointing down, this indicates the direction you are traveling from. Now we're going to discuss quantum travel. Press the F1 key to activate your Moby Glass, and then go to the Skyline tab. If you right click twice, you will zoom out all the way. Press and hold the left mouse button to rotate the map. Use the wheel mouse to zoom in and out. Mouse over location and left click to select it. Left click on select route to set the route. And now you will see your current fuel, required fuel, and the number of jumps to get to your location. Once you select a location, a small triangle will appear indicating the direction to your waypoint. Line up with your waypoint and press the B key to spool your quantum drive. You can spool your quantum drive prior to lining up with your waypoint, but your quantum drive will not calibrate until you line up. Once your quantum drive is spooled and 
calibrated. Hold the B key to activate quantum drive. Holding the B key again will drop you from your quantum jump. Spooling your quantum drive while not having a route set will show you all available waypoints. Aim at a waypoint you want to jump to, allow spooling and calibration to complete, and then hold down the B key to jump to that waypoint. Quantum travel. You can also jump to some locations on planets. Now we're going to go over how to land. Quantum travel complete. While approaching the surface, be sure to keep an eye on your altitude. Generally, once you enter the armistice zone, you can request landing. Please proceed to assign landing bay. Your assigned landing bay will be indicated by a wrench icon. Press the end key to lower your landing gear. Landing gear deployed.
Sometimes it's easier when landing to go to the third person view. To do this, press the F4 key. Press and hold the Z key to rotate your camera. This is a useful time to adjust your thruster power. You can do this by holding down the right alt key and scrolling the mouse wheel. Be careful though, if you lower it too much, your ship will not be able to hover. Proximity alert, head. Proximity alert, head. A workaround for a current bug is to hover above the pad in order to repair or refuel. Press and hold the N key to activate the auto land process. Landing complete. Landing complete. Have a pleasant stay. Engines online. Shields offline. Thank you for visiting my channel. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Until next time, see you around the verse.